All right, doing a little uh, thing about this coupe I picked up a long time ago. Got this car a little under two years ago off a of friend. Um, he bought it for parts. Um, it's changed hands a few times in the New England area. It's an old uh, front street car, apparently. Um, but it floated around Mass in Rhode Island for a while. Um, pretty confident someone was going to scrap it due to some of the rust it has and whatnot but i picked it up for a couple hundred bucks and plan on saving this thing because it's actually not as bad as most people think it is um so engine bay wise this thing's got some poorly welded in trailer tubs and then there's also some rust down here that was also fixed pretty horribly and some random section of the frame rail was cut and welded back together for whatever reason uh but other than that, it's actually not too bad. There's a couple small, there's a small hole in the floor and then down by the rockers in the back. And then whoever the previous, previous owner was tried to, I don't know what they were thinking here, putting, cutting the overs, we're trying to cut for overs and they just use some self tappers, but we're going to fix all that. But yeah, there's like a little rust down there. Um, anyways, so. I picked this up for a couple hundred bucks and a bunch of random other parts. I got doors, gas tank, uh, knuckles, subframes, you name it, whatever. Um, it's actually originally a heads-up display car. It does have the factory heads-up display windshield, which is pretty rare and hard to come by nowadays. Um, and I actually have a heads-up display dash on top of the bathroom here at the shop. So... Um, I think we're going to make it a seat time car for my girlfriend so she can learn to drive. Um, plan is right now, put a stock KA in this uh, right out of Paul's S14, which is over there, which is actually my old KA for my hatch. Um, so stock KA, try and find a 4.3 ring and pinion, maybe a 4.6 if uh, that's just easier to come across. but. 4.3 is ideal, so at least it can go above 65 miles an hour on the highway. Um, yeah, stock KA, coil rad. Uh, probably take my PBM coils out of my car, put it into this. Um, what else do I got? Any, anything I'm taking out of my hatch is pretty much going to go into this car. Um, control arms, a few other stuff that I bought from my car can we can use to put into this. It did come with an Injuku pre-bent cage. It has like a main hoop in it right now, um, but we're not gonna use this halo because as you can see, these halos are, they don't fit, like they fit all right, but you can add a 15 degree bend right around here and make it actually sit a little better um, because if you look, it sits kind of farther down. I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, maybe I'll just make my own A-pillars or something. Um, probably end up putting a full cage in this car just because this age, these things are so old now. And, like, I'm trying to live. Um, probably, uh, you know, redo that cage. And then uh, I did get a sunroof delete with this thing. But I do have the whole assembly. I just don't have glass for it. So if anyone's got glass, I'd consider putting uh, I would consider putting a sunroof in this thing. But... Most likely, we'll just put a stock KA in this for now. Um, I'm gonna put my sexy style kit on this uh, while I get a new one for my hatchback. Maybe some dorky dory rear spats. Um, clean this thing up, paint it, get some over fenders, fix this contraption back here. Um, but I think first, what we'll do is um, get some jigs made, fix this frame rail debacle in the front here and um put this thing in a rotisserie and like really clean the car up um and bring it back because this it's still a good shell it's just you know it's just shaded hands so many times that it needs some like love and attention you know and these new fuel lines and brake lines there's no brake lines in the car except for the ones up top here uh you know a lot of this stuff i have spares of so this should be a pretty cheap build but i'm gonna probably eat my words saying that because you know it is a drift car so but yeah uh at the moment though it's probably just going to sit for some time as we collect parts because it is time to get my hatch back together and my z and then we'll uh 
we'll get to this thing. But yeah, I'll keep some updates coming soon.